Afternoon everybody, we are back again, but this time we are making some alugal beets. So if you manage to grow on your allotment cauliflowers and potatoes, you might want to take heed of this. In the frying pan right now we have got some olive oil, some butter, we've also got some onion seeds, so nigella and juan or kalwanji as well, so, or cumin rather, jeera. Mum has also thrown in some, not just a few, but star anise as well. You can use this to infuse the, oil, the actual butter and oil. So, the gobi is over there. Mum, wave the gobi at me, will you? So, there you go. This is the gobi, the cauliflower that you might have harvested. What we've also done, what Mum has saved, are the actual stalks as well. This is the green thundle, the firm white ridges of your cauliflower. So you can get rid of the leaves if you want to, but save all the rest of it. So into the oil and butter, what we are going to throw is some chopped diced up onions. There's garlic in there and ginger. There's also some sweet peppers. Mum's decided to put these into the base. So these are going in and these are going to be sautéed for at least five minutes to make sure that they are softened and that the onions are glassy. She's also throwing in the dundle. It's all right, Mum, slow down. We haven't got to brush this. But all of that is in there. Remember, the actual ridges are very, very firm and they're going to take longer to cook down. They are quite fibrous. So all of this is going in and this will be the base of what we are making. So we are making cauliflower and potatoes and this is apparently the quicker way of doing it. Um, so we've got the base in there, we've got the onions, the garlic, the ginger and sweet peppers. And this will be cooked down and sautéed. After which, we're going to put the contents of Mum's masala dumba. The masala box is over here. And, oh, it's getting moved over here so I can have a look at it. There you go. So I will explain shortly as to what that's going to be doing. So stir it. Don't make, make sure it doesn't burn. The idea is that it all reduces. Isn't that right, Mum? Yep, she's nodding at me. So cook it all down. About 10 minutes, she said. So... Onions, garlic, ginger. Rather than, well, we have this time put onion seeds in it. The onion seeds will give it that, you know, thinner flavour. Say again? Tangy flavour. Tangy flavour, Mum said. So, at the moment, there's no gobi in there, there's no cauliflower in there. And this will saute down and soften the peppers. Mum's also going to add potatoes. Depending on what variety of potatoes you've got on the allotment, it does make a difference. The firmer, fleshier ones are going to take longer to cook down. Cook potatoes quickly later on, but make sure you chop them enough to cook through quickly. Isn't that right, Mum? Yep, she's nodding. Not too finely, otherwise they'll turn into mush. Not too big that they take forever to cook. Bite-sized morsels are good. So, stir in the pan. You don't want it to burn, not like I did this morning. Is that right, Mum? She's nodding. Okay. How long is it going to take? That bit? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. That thing. That what thing? Okay. So, you're adding stuff now, Mum. Right. So we've got a teaspoon of turmeric, haldi. And this will give the onion gobi the beautiful golden colour that you're used to. A teaspoon of salt, or a bit more, one for the chef, I guess. <laughs> She's pulling faces at me. All right, we've now got some red chilli powder. Garam masala. What did you miss? You got salt. Yep, everything. Okay. Alright, so the base is now being cooked through, she's putting all the spices in. As you can see, she's stirring it in a different technique from you, she's been doing this for a long time. Have it, your mum? Yep. Oh, hot water's coming too. No? Okay, maybe not. So, everything is cooking through, it is now that yellow golden colour. In a similar way to the aloo carrots that we had earlier, you put the halbi in and it's going to take on that colour. Cauliflower is notoriously a white bland food, so putting this colour into it makes it look that much more attractive. What's next? What's 
coming next month. Cauliflower, potatoes. Okay, we're waiting. We're waiting for it all to cook down. Hopefully everything will soften down. We have got, remember, the short of the cauliflower, which would be quite tough and quite hard, really. If you cook them over a fairly moderate heat, they will break down, become more tender. And why waste the whole cauliflower? All those bits that you throw away, you can add. Hang on a minute, all my throwing in. There you go. Mr. Box. Ten minutes, Mum said. Oh, we'll be going in. Maybe not. Potatoes. Here you go. Potatoes are going in. We should now take on the lovely golden colour of the holiday that you put in. And the flavours and the spices should start to infuse. At this stage, Mum hasn't put cinnamon in or dal chili. So we've got sarinase. You can put cinnamon in a little bit of flavour and in goes our cauliflower. It is chunky, you can take the florets, you can take the florets and make them smaller if you want it to. But then when you're cooking it quite it to shrink anyway. Stir the mixture through, make sure everything's easily distributed and that you've got all of the mixture coating the floret. But at this stage, don't be alarmed that the florets are going to be, they're going to stay firm. As you cook this, and remember, you've already sauteed the onion and the masala mix for 10 minutes, and that flavour was already there. With this, cook this through, and then add some water. This is hot, freshly boiled water, and quite a bit. Again, don't be alarmed. All of that is going to turn to steam and help it cook through. And you don't necessarily want dry alugubi. Oh, the lid's going on too. And how long is that going to be on there? Till it's done. Till it's done. How do we know it's done? Just poke the fork in now and now. Okay, so you'll need to know that it's done when you poke a fork through. When you do poke your fork through your knife, you'll be able to cut slice through the, the cauliflower and through the potatoes. They should not be mushy. They should be nice and crisp and your knife should slide straight through. And keep your eyes on it, Mum said in whispered tones. Keep an eye on it, stir it often, but not too often, otherwise you'll break up the potatoes. Or and you'll mush the bun. Or you'll probably burn them, Mum said. So that is the quicker version of making yeah, a little steam, bit. It's better. It's that. better with the steam. You heard it from Mum first. So if you want to know how to make a lugubi, that is a version. So what did we do in the beginning? We had onions, garlic and ginger. We sautéed them with some star anise and sweet peppers. Sautéed them for 10 minutes, make sure they're transparent, soft and glassy. After which you put potatoes, ginger, gubi and, and, and water. Yeah, as you, well want, as you can put water in it to you. You can put water, you don't have to. And there was also the spices, we put garam masala in there, we put Red, pep red chilli pepper in there and salt. So there you go, the easier way to make a lugobi. Enjoy!